Hey! <laughs> Coming in low. Coming in low! Hi, Adam Savage here in my cave. It's good to see you guys this morning. Hello, everybody. Um, this is a KitchenAid mixer. It belongs to a friend of mine. And apparently, after 20 years of service, um, this switch is no longer functioning correctly. And I said I would take a look at it. Um, as there's probably a simple mechanical reason. But first, we're going to test its operation and we're going to see what's wrong with it. Ooh. Okay, so. So apparently it's already too fast. So let's go in and take a look. unplugged just making sure there you go Uh, so I found a tutorial that walked me through. I'm going to pull this plate off. It's still unplugged. I'm going to... I'm going to pull this plate off. And... then I'll reinstall it. But first I'm gonna clean it. Right now, I think it's probably pretty filthy. Because it's old. And there she goes. Okay, cool. Uh, let us. It's not too dirty back there actually, all things considered. Don't get me wrong, it is dirty, but it's not too dirty. Oh, okay, that's just grease. Great, great. Okay, so let's get this back in. All right, we're going to try plugging this in, see what kind of operation we get. Oh, yeah. Okay. On.
I see how that might have happened. Hang on, let's see if that worked. Yeah, so we're gonna add a little bit of Loctite to this guy here. Give him a little bit of, uh, yeah. There we no, go. I am not gonna give you a tutorial on exactly how I fix this because um, that's not what my, this channel is. A, I, I got too much advice from appliance, appliance Parts Pros. They were the ones that helped me understand this. Um, on one of these, that is a speed control plate. Um, and on here, this is a speed control plate. There are some parameters around it. I cleaned it. I adjusted a couple of parts that looked like they had gotten out of whack and I put some Loctite on there so things couldn't shake loose again. The, um, the parameters were all very far from factory settings from what I understand. So, uh, I think... I want to just look up what the RPM is for stir. Okay, um, there's a reason these are the ubiquitous uh, mixers in the world. Um, I have determined it is the speed control plate. It needs replacing. Uh, the slowest I can adjust this is still about double its normal speed, but it is a $20 part. I'm gonna order it, and when you see me again, we'll, we'll, we, we, will, we, we will be replacing it. Yeah, that's what we will be doing. That's what we will be doing. Okay, we're back. Good morning. Saturday hair. Hi. Uh, I was out of town this week, but while I was out of town, this beautiful part showed up. Um, and in addition, our home mixer, because we've got uh, one of these and one of its larger brothers, um, one of our home mixer uh, mixer attachments had white enamel paint on it and the paint had chipped off and my wife wanted a new one and was able to order one in a second for just 20 bucks. Yeah, we're about to replace this. Now the issue just to, I think, well, given the edit, who knows? The issue has been that uh, that's the slowest speed. And that's about a hundred, that's really like almost 180 RPM and it really should be 60 RPM. Um, or maybe even 30. At any rate, the slowest speed here is not nearly slow enough. And what I found out that is because this year, I've unplugged it, this year, 
the speed control plate has these brass leaves in it that wear out. So I'm about to replace it and hopefully once I do and follow the uh, requirements as to the depth of all of the mounting screws, they, they all have correct depths, um, we should get operation that is much more satisfactory. Uh, again, my mixer is unplugged here and we're going to uh, pull out that. <clears throat> Now we're gonna swap that speed plate out for its replacement here. same size it's all the same connectors oh right I want to wind these up that is almost dead accurate and this one needs a little bit of help Okay, let us see if we get some better operation here. We had an issue with my friend Jessica's mixer. And right, the last where where last we left off our intrepid hero, we determined that it was the that the speed control plate, which I replaced, was not the problem, that the problem was the governor. With this unplugged, we're going to pull the speed control plate, <clears throat> which is simply uh, a few wires. And I'm actually gonna re- crimp these because I've been moving them so much they're all a little bit weak in their grab so that may also yeah that'll be one of our final bits okay that's it there we are okay speed control plate again $20 part two days to arrive here uh, now replacing the governor is very difficult you got to reach in and you got to pull on it. That's it. That's how you replace the governor. There's this little pin in here which can fall out. So be ready. Uh, but here is our new governor, OEM part. <clears throat> I hope it's an OEM part. Whirlpool factory certified parts. In this day and age, that doesn't mean anything anymore. But we're, uh, we'll, we're hope springs eternal and we're going to pop this in. No discernible difference, really, between the old and the new, but that's to be reasonably expected. All right. Okay. That should be it. Uh, so let us recrimp these guys. All right, blue, nice, 
black, white, excellent. All these are nice, solid grabs. Oh, wait, that one I think I could make a little bit tighter. There we go. Ah, much better. Actually, I can go even better on that. Okay. So now we're going to bring this all the way down. Uh, I believe the spec is one centimeter. I've got a centimeter here. That's a centimeter. And that's a centimeter. Okay. Uh, let's get this spring back up. Excellent. Okay. Oh, here's hoping. Um, Got it on the lowest setting and we're gonna let these out until they start to connect. Oh, whoops, 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 all wrong, all wrong. Ah, sorry, unplugged, there we go. It's, this has got to get, oh, no, that did do, that did do. Okay, there we go. Unplugged, unplugged, great. This is off center, something here. Unplugged, 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 great. In my impatience, I pulled off the governor and I lost this little um, registration pin that goes at the end of the shaft. Um, so I have to turn a new one and I'm gonna turn it out of this tiny, uh, what is this? Three millimeter stock, give or take. Oh, it's probably one eighth. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna turn a, uh... yep. I'm gonna turn a new little registration pin. Bear with me. Okay, oh, can you see it? I've turned down the end of this and I'm gonna figure out how long to make it. Here's the piece I made. That little top part should dovetail nicely with the notch in here. So here we go. Oh, it needs to come out just a tiny bit more.
Okay, testing. Ah, all right. Well, um, I, I'm really happy with how that went. It was a bit of a slog. Uh, there was definitely a learning curve, but the fact that KitchenAid has, this is a 20 year old mixer. The fact that the parts that make this go are both less than $20 and easily replaceable, the governor and the speed control plate, um, Really thrilling, frankly. Um, it's bringing back some of the faith I've lost in capitalism. Like you're keeping a product line consistent across decades and making the parts accessible. And all that really means is that more people are using these beautiful machines out in the world and baking and making delicious things for them and the people that they love. So KitchenAid, thank you for keeping your product lines working out there in the field. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to go deliver this to my friend. Thank you guys for joining me for this one day build or Adam's repair shop. We can call it Adam's repair shop. Just bring your appliances in and I'll get them going. Thank you guys. See you next time.